My friend, welcome back to the channel. I started this whole thing because I was bored when I was in lockdown and because I still wanted to do what I love, which is basically talk and help people. I've made videos in the past way back in like 2018. Don't go looking for it by the way. And so I thought I've got a camera, which was a G7X Mark II. I like to talk and I like to provide advice. Hence, this is what we get. And in all honesty, I did not know how long this was going to last. I didn't know if I was going to be able to be consistent. I didn't even know if I was going to be able to have the time in the future to be able to continue doing these videos, let alone continuously upload for like a good year and a bit now. All in all, it took us 92 videos to get 1000 subscribers. And so in this video, I want to share with you and talk about the journey to 1K and just how much of an actual big deal this is. So starting off, how hard is it to actually get 1000 subscribers? According to TubeBuddy, the average channel that has anywhere between 1K to 10K subscribers has made roughly 152 videos. We did it in less than that. On top of that too, 8.86% of channels on the actual platform YouTube actually have over a thousand subscribers. And so what this means for us is that we've done a fantastic job. And so I wanna start off by saying I am incredibly grateful and I'm like genuinely so thankful that you choose to subscribe and you choose to watch these videos like I I actually can't think and comprehend and really express truly just how grateful I am because what you're saying is and like but by doing these things and watching these videos and subscribing what you're actually saying to me is, is that you actually care and I feel like I'm actually helping and you actually are concerned and are focused on what I actually have to share and what I have to say um, to a point where you might even share it with other people. It makes me feel like the energy that I'm putting into this work, it's not going to waste. So really, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, here's what it took for us to get here. I said this before and it finally paid off and like it's literally come true and that is consistency is so key. Consistency was probably the major player in what it took us to actually get here. And I specifically remember hearing this from Ali Abdal. He said basically when it comes to YouTube and especially when you're starting, you just wanna be consistent as often as possible. And like upload as many times a week that you can. And this whole thing of consistency is something that is still such a major part of this channel. It's also become a major part of my whole being. Like I cannot go like a full week without uploading. It also took a mindset shift about what it actually means to create content. I could not keep doing it for the sake of views and subscribers. And I'm gonna be honest, like those were selfish reasons and those were selfish reasons that I had and I still have, but it's just less of a focus. And I know it's because all that stuff is all vanity. It's all on the surface. Those things aren't strong enough to keep the drive, to keep the motivation, to keep that inspiration going. And so that drive, and that motivation, that inspiration all had to start coming from the joy and the happiness that I experienced in the actual work itself. Being in love with the journey became so much more of a focus and naturally became part of the process rather than being focused and like concerned and worried about the outcomes, the destination. Being in love with the journey over time has naturally been an outcome. Like it could no longer be about the destination where we'd end up. It had to be about what we were doing and how we were doing it. And so I thought I'd take this opportunity to share what I have learned. First thing that I've learned and what I feel like I still don't do enough of is backing myself. If I believe in something and I've got the knowledge and I know that I can do it, there is no reason why I shouldn't be able to back myself. Same with you. I think personally, me not backing myself has been a really big player in the potential growth that this channel has actually missed out on. So moving forward, I just wanna back myself because I know I can do it now. The next thing I wanna share with you is people follow people. I remember sitting in the audience of this motivational speaker, Sam Cawthorn, and he spoke, spoke really well, but there was one thing that really stuck with me and it's when he said, people follow people. And I didn't understand it then, but I understand it a little bit better now. Like if I come across as someone that's kind, that's loving, that's generous, that actually cares, and I actually show that, and I show it whether in, it's in my content or I show it when I'm just on the street, when I'm randomly in my interactions with people. If I show that, then people are gonna care. They're gonna wanna follow. And that too, those people that follow, those people that subscribe, those people that come along in the journey, just like how you have, those people are amazing people because how you are is what you attract. Like what you are is what you attract, which is ultimately what I want to create. Like I want to create a community of people that actually care about meaningful living and that want to have more happiness in their lives and achieve their goals and have success and reach their potential. And the last thing which has played probably the biggest part, that is patience. I wanted to hit 1000 subscribers in six months. 
We, we did it in 18. That is three times longer than I wanted it to be. Patience is everything. In fact, it taught me the value of hard work and just how I can't just expect things to happen just because I think it's doable or just because like I'm ambitious. Like I need to back it up with work. In fact, the, the fact like at that six month point where we hadn't even hit, I think at that point, like 300 subs, like it really got me questioning. It really got me questioning, hey, am I actually delivering the right content? Is this actually connecting with people? Is this what people need? So I believe patience just teaches us so many different things and it certainly taught me a lot. All right, so now that we've done the learnings, I wanna talk about now what's going to happen next. What happens now? We are at a stage now in this channel where we've hit a thousand subscribers and once again, thank you very much for supporting and your love and your kindness has just been an amazing part and such a pleasure to indulge in and I'm not gonna go down that rubble hole, but now what we need to start focusing on is creating quality content. And that has a lot to do with the fact that there's a lot more eyes on me. There's a lot more eyes on me in my, in my work outside of this. And the fact that like our TikTok also has blown up, it just means that now people are noticing and people are starting to care a lot more deeply and there's potential for a lot more growth here. In the past, I felt like if a video was subpar, like if it was 80% or more of my expectations, I was like, fine, go ahead, upload it. It's absolutely okay. Because what we need to do now in the beginning is we just need to, we just need to upload straight away as consistently as possible. But now quality is a major player in this. I want to take this more seriously and create content that you actually care about and that you want to watch. Because from an outside perspective, it looks like I'm growing, this channel's growing, but that doesn't mean anything if you're not. Like the whole reason why we started this whole thing is because one, yes, like I've got a lot of personal benefit to gain from this, but also I wanted to do that where I can like, I want to do this whole thing in a way where not only do I benefit, but so does a lot of other people as a result of me doing this thing. I feel like if you can find a space where you can do that, then that's the best type of work to be doing. Like if you didn't honestly find anything that I've shared or anything that I've done in any of the videos helpful, then there's a serious problem coming from my end. The other side of this coin, you benefiting from the videos that I make is so important and needs to be met. And I want to make sure that I don't stray from it because the reality is, is that this work can become extremely selfish. It can become extremely, extremely self-obsessed where it's all about me and it's not about you. And I think it's always important for me to keep reminding myself of that because I don't want to be the guy that's obsessed with the numbers. I don't like that guy and I'd rather not be him. So that being said, if you feel that there's any part of my videos or you feel like I need to do more of this or more of that and include this in, you need to let me know. In fact, I'd really appreciate if you did. Either comment on the video or like send me a DM on Instagram. I wanna know how I can be better for you. Otherwise, thank you very much for coming along this journey. Whatever feedback you have, I'd gladly take it on board. And if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you did. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.